Making our way to the next part, we've now completed the piston top. We now have the piston bottom. It's a very similar piece. The only difference is, is now we have eight of these rectangles protruding. Once again, I'm going to use the same techniques to create the piston bottom as I did the piston top. I'm going to begin with the circle, extrude it, place a hole, and then I'm going to create these rectangle wings for lack of a better term. We are now going to close the piston bottom, piston top, excuse me, new, standard inventor IPT part under the English tab, click OK, and we're going to begin by creating that circle. Choose the circle point circle tool, single click to place the center of the circle, drag your circle out, left click once again to define the circle diameter. We're going to use our dimension tool. We're going to select the edge of the circle, left click to place the dimension, and we're going to set the dimension value excuse me, to 0.14. So we click on the dimension and we enter 1.4. Click on the green check mark to accept it. We're finished sketching, so we make our way to the Finish Sketch tool at the top right. Click. I am going to place this in isometric mode, make my way to the View Cube, and simply click on the Home icon. We're going to create mass by using the extrude tool. Finds the profile. The distance that we are going to extrude is 0.9. We're going to click on OK to accept that. We now have the basic circle. We're going to choose the hole tool. In the hole dialog box, we're going to choose placement to be concentric. It's asking for the top of the hole, so we select the plane. So we simply click on this face here. And then it's asking for the concentric reference, which is the outer circle. It's now in the center of that circle. We want determination, i.e. the hole to go through everything. So we click on the drop down arrow and select through all. And the center of the hole is 0.25. If it's not 0.25 in yours, you can just enter 0.25, click OK. We're going to continue by drawing those wings there, but I want to use the face, the view face tool. So I simply click on the view face and click on that face there so I can view it from a uh, XY plan view. And like creating the piston top, I'm going to use the rectangle command. In the piston top command, we used one. In this case, we're going to use two. But our rectangle commands are sketch tools. So we need to create a sketch. Top left hand corner in the ribbon, you'll see create 2D sketch. We click on that. And then we simply need to click on the face we want our sketch plane to be at. Our sketching tools appear. And we simply choose the rectangle tool. And I'm simply going to draw a rectangle here. And I'm also going to draw another rectangle here. With my dimensioning tools, as I did in the previous <clears throat> exercise, I'm going to position these correctly. So the first dimension I'm going to place is the width of this particular rectangle. I drew that at 1.62. That should actually be one sorry, 0 0.13. By clicking on the dimension, we get the Edit Dimension dialog box, and we enter 0 0.13. Now, I'm not going to worry about this rectangle for the time being. I'm just going to work on this left side here. I am going to dimension the height of this by clicking this top line of the rectangle and clicking the center point of the circle and I'm placing the dimension to the left and in this case we knew that it was 2.6 divided by 2 half we click on the green arrow to accept it 
<clears throat> and at this point, I am going to stop and work on my right side here. Instead of adding dimensions to drive the length and what have you, I'm going to add constraints. For instance, these are my constraints. I have coincident, I have collinear, parallel, perpendicular, horizontal, vertical, tangent constraints. I'll show you how this works. If I choose my horizontal constraint, I can say that this line will always be horizontal already exists. Oh, interesting. Collinear, my mistake. We use the collinear to line up this line and that line to always run in the same direction. So that means if this value ever changes, both these will shrink or expand to keep that rule in place. I'm also going to use my equal sign to keep the the value of this line equal to the value of this line. Now this changed because this is already, there's a rule of 0.3 on it. Okay? So we can keep that perfectly equal. So those rectangles look pretty equal at this point. Now I'm going to dimension from this line to the outer line of the right rectangle, and I'll place the dimension up there. Click on that dimension, and that should be 0.5, keeping them the perfect distance apart. The last dimension I need to place is a dimension that will keep these centered. So I simply dimension this left side of the rectangle to the center point of the circle, and I'll place the dimension. I click on the just place dimension. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to say, I'm going to click on this 0.5 dimension and say it's always going to be half. Once again, ensuring that it's always centered. Now that I've dimensioned these rectangles in place, I'm going to exit sketch mode by clicking the finish sketch green check mark top right hand corner here. I'm going to place this view in isometric view by simply clicking on the home icon in the view cube. And I'm going to use that extrude tool and I'm going to select this rectangle and this rectangle. Notice they're extruding the wrong distance, so I'll simply use my flip tool here. The distance is already set to point 0.9. Click OK, and I've now added the wing. I now need to place the hole through these two wings, so I simply choose my hole tool. I'm going to once again place this hole linearly. This is, it's asking me for the top of the hole face. So this is the top of my hole. And I'm going to select this edge and this edge as my reference lines, reference edges. This dimension here is 0.3. And this dimension here is 0.45. Now that I've placed that, I simply click on OK and I've created the hole through the two parts. Now we're simply going to use that pattern component or circular pattern tool and it's asking me for the features so we want the extrusion and the hole. Once we've selected that we click on the rotation axis button, we select the center hole, specify 4 as the number of placements, full 360 degrees, we click OK, and I've created the piston bottom. Simply File Save, simply go click on the Save button, and we'll call it Piston Bottom. <laughs>